Hello guys, my name is Abdullah Khatak and I'm a year one medical student. In the past month, I've been flooded with DMs asking me how to study, how to focus, I can't study, help. So I decided to make a video where I share with you guys 10 tips and tricks that help me study for long hours without losing focus. Hopefully they'll work for you as well. Before I begin though, I want to make it clear that this video isn't just for medical students. As long as you're a student looking for some study tips, you're in for a treat. A lot of things in this video would be for you to experiment and check whether they work for you since everyone is different. Also, if you're not a subscriber already, subscribe for more amazing content. With that said, let's dive right into it. Number one, discover the best time to study. You and me, we're different. If you're anything like me, you'd love studying in daylight. But a lot of my friends prefer studying at night and that's what works for them. So you need to discover whether you're a morning or a night person. Number two, force yourself to follow a specific routine. There have been times when I've studied for 10 hours in one day and then taken a three day break just because I wasn't used to studying for such long hours. That's why developing a fixed routine is more important than you think and it helps you stay consistent. It's like going to the gym. When you miss it, you get guilt trips and that motivates you to work even harder. So after you've discovered what time suits you, force yourself to follow that routine until you adapt to it and start following it subconsciously. Do not leave everything for the end. Whenever you're having an off day, just imagine a situation where you have an exam tomorrow and 10 chapters piled up. That type of stress should definitely motivate you to study. Number three, find your mode of learning. Some people love textbooks, other love videos, others might like drawings and sketches. Find out what works for you. I personally am not a big fan of textbooks. I watch videos online for whatever topic I want to cover and then give it a read from the book. And here's a little tip. If you don't feel like reading, there's a lot of softwares that read aloud PDF files. I usually use those and trust me, it helps. Here's an example. Viral infection are largely determined by the troism of the virus for specific tissues and cell types. Troism is influenced by a number of factors. Number four, music or white noise. Let me make it clear first. By music, I mean music with no vocals. I would definitely not recommend listening to Eminem or Cardi B while you're studying. You'll end up focusing on the lyrics and losing focus. For your ease, I've added a few links in the description of music that helps me focus. Feel free to check it out. Some people also find it helpful listening to some kind of white noise like a sea or a fan. You can easily find these on YouTube and try to see if they work for you. Some people find study with me videos helpful as well. It's basically a video which you play in the background while you study with another person virtually. If you want to try it out, I have one on my channel. Feel free to study with it. Number five, test your knowledge. You'll never be satisfied with how much you've studied and you'll always feel like you're not prepared until you test yourself and apply your knowledge. Practicing questions and model tests is very effective. Not only does it make you realize your weak areas which you can work on, but it also improves your time management skills. It provides you with an exam environment so that on the day of the actual exam, you don't find the exam setting foreign. If you're an aspiring student looking forward to getting into a medical college in Pakistan and plan on taking the MCAT or MDCAT, Nearpair is an online education system that has a lot of quizzes and practice tests for you to test your knowledge. After solving the test, not only will you get your score, the correct answers, but also descriptions for the answers which you got wrong. You'll also be made aware of the topics where you need improvement via a graph. On top of that, there are discussion sessions for the answers to difficult questions. Link for registration for the test session is in the description below. They also have a scholarship test which will be totally free to attempt. Top 3 scorers will get a laptop, a tablet and a Zong 4G device. Top 10 scorers will get a special live session with the instructors at Nearpair where they can ask questions and clarify their concepts. On top of that, all participants will get 50% discount on Nearpair's one and a half month MDCAT crash course and also on the test session I mentioned. Registration for this test is totally free. Link for the form is in the description. Moving on. Number six, get done with everything else. 
when you've got some pending work you'll constantly keep thinking about it and even if you don't it'll stay at the back of your head making it difficult for you to focus get done with all the pending chores wash the dishes water the plants and then sit down to study so that you can give your 100% number 7 put the distractions away No matter how focused you are, you do get distracted when you hear a notification beep on your phone. Even if you don't check it at first, the sound of every notification tortures you with curiosity until you end up checking your phone. And before you know it, you've wasted a whole hour scrolling through your Instagram feed or your WhatsApp messages. To prevent this from happening, silence your phone and put it somewhere away from your study table so that it's not accessible to you. As humans, we are lazy. It's less likely for you to try to check your phone if it's away from your study table. Number 8. Make studying fun. Let's be real. Studying 100 pages from a textbook gets boring no matter how dedicated you are. You need to find ways to make studying fun for yourself. For example, I had to do the hard anatomy in my last module and I was in no mood for opening up the textbook. So I spent an hour drawing a heart on paper and labeling it on my own. And trust me, I actually had fun and also learned it really well. You can do similar things, use different colored pens, markers, make drawings, tables, or if you're really creative, make a song for things you're having a hard time memorizing. You get the point. Make it fun for yourself. Number 9. Use the stress and anxiety as a driving force. A lot of people text me telling me they have exams coming up and they are stressed out. For me, stress and anxiety are nothing but motivation. I get it. You've got an exam in a week and you're stressed. So what? You're going to stop studying? No. Use the stress and fear to motivate yourself to work even harder. Number 10. Breaks are important. Studying for long hours with no breaks is unhealthy. You'll end up being tired and you'll forget a lot of the stuff you studied. Initially, when you're trying to develop a routine, start with 45 minutes of studying and then a 15-minute break. With time, increase the study duration and decrease the break duration simultaneously. You'll definitely see your focus span increase, but it will take time. Finally, I want to emphasize on the fact that things don't happen overnight. Follow these steps and they'll work for you in the long run. Remember, practice makes perfect. If this video helped you, share it with a friend and drop a like. If you want more content like this, let me know in the comments down below and also don't forget to subscribe. That's all folks. I'll see you guys in the next one. In the mood for some nice travel vlogs? Click here. Or if you want to watch more study related stuff, click here.